Do you need a last minute card for Rosh Hashanah? I'll show you how to make these pomegranate cards coming up next on Catherine Paper Art. In today's video, I will be making Rosh Hashanah cards and I will be using a pomegranate die along with a Shana Tova stamp and um, the 3D embossing folder um, tree rings from Tim Holtz and Sizzix. So let's get started. I have a number of these Rosh Hashanah cards to do. So I thought I would show, share the um, Rosh Hashanah cards that I'm planning. And um, I've got all my components cut out. I'm using the Ruscus leaves stem, big, big leaves from the greetery. They are the um, big branches, Ruscus die. And I cut, it was easy enough to get several pieces from one branch because they're big enough. And they're roughly the shape of a pomegranate leaf. So um, you can see I have colored them up and cut, cut them up and I will use my paper tools to shape these. And um, I found a pomegranate die on, I don't know if it was AliExpress or Amazon. And um, so that's what I'm using there. And then I'm also using the embossing folder from Tim Holtz Sizzix. I'm stamping and heat embossing the front sentiment for the cards, and it says Shana Tova. And I'll finish doing this off screen and be right back. I finished stamping and heat embossing all my sentiments, and I am going to, my whole cards are all finished basically. They've got the greetings inside, and I'm going to put these down with some foam squares, but before I do that, I'm going to add a little bit of embossing to these um, pomegranate pips, and I will uh, I'll heat emboss those off screen and be right back. Okay, I finished all of these Rosh Hashanah cards, and there's probably close to two dozen of them, and I think they came out pretty nice, actually, in the end. Um, so I heat embossed the sentiment, which says Shana Tova. I heat embossed the pomegranate pips and popped these up with foam tape. I just doubled the cardstock on the sentiment. And I popped the embossed panel up with some layers of cardstock. And then on the inside, I have my Hebrew sentiment which says, Anu me'achlim lachem shana pora umetucha chatima tova, which loosely translated says, may you have a fruitful and sweet new year, and may you be inscribed for good. And happy new year on the front. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please leave us a thumbs up. You know, have all of the... Um, materials and supplies that I used listed in the description. Thank you for watching. One thing I wanted to mention about these cards, they open from the left because they are in Hebrew. Uh, if they were in English, they'd open from the right, like a traditional card. But uh, also I wanted to mention that this is an actual stamp that I stamped and embossed. This is printed on the computer and then uh, glued into the card. So, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out because I don't have all of this in a stamp. Um, and I, I don't even think anybody makes anything like that in a stamp. So anyway, I just wanted to be clear on that. Okay.